A jack of all trades is a master of none. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Meaning, simply put, if you do a whole bunch of things, you will not be a master at any one of them. Now, let me go deeper into that for a moment if you let me. That doesn't mean don't do other things. That doesn't mean just do this. Because that'll get boring after a while. You know, it becomes monotonous, right? But it does mean master something before you go and start something else. If you truly want to be successful, right? Mom was reading that, you know, you ask, most people ask for the wrong people for the gifts that they want, right? For what they want. They don't ask God for it. On Sundays they do. You know, people go to church on Sunday, they jump around, scream around. Some of them speak in tongues and all this other crazy mm -hmm. stuff, right? Then on Monday, they cussing everybody known the man. Right? But what they don't realize is, you have already been born with what you need to have everything you desire. See? That's the cool part. Here's the bad part. You ready for the bad part? Ready for the bad part, everybody? The bad part is, you don't really know what you want. People say, oh, I know what I want. What you want? And then, uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, well, you know, I'd like to start off with a million dollars. Then what? Uh, well, I feel for <laughs> my mama's debt. Can I feel the vibe? My daddy's debt, you know, buy a nice house, car, pay off all my loans, fix it all. Bring world peace. But they don't have true direction. If you say, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? It should be so systematic that you know exactly what you would do. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, right? There's a difference in making money Somebody could make half of what you make and have twice as much as you have. How does that happen? Because they know how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Anybody ever heard that saying? Mm -hmm. I gotta make a dollar out of 15 cents. It ain't just in rap songs. See people here, oh, gotta make a dollar out of 15 cents. You're right, right, right. But, but who sat down and taught you what it really means to do that? But what if they don't teach you what it means to do that? Or what if you didn't learn? They taught you, but you didn't learn it. Remember the piggy banks? Everybody laugh. We talk about piggy banks, right? Hey, what you got that pig for? This is my piggy bank. Put that down. Every change you got. <coughs> right? Roll it up. The next thing you know, it's about $100. Don't seem like a lot that you spend it that fast, right? But you leave it in there. And you do another one, you got another hundred. Next thing you know, you start to learn how to invest. You should put it in a bank account. The one thing that Grant said when I asked what we do with a million dollars, he said, nothing. Stop. The smartest thing somebody could do. If I put a million dollars on this table right now and I say, this is your money, the first thing you need to do is stop. process what that is because you think a million dollars is a lot of money don't you guys don't you it's okay if you tell the truth because most of you don't have a million dollars do you have you ever seen a million dollars and it be yours have you seen a million dollars at a bank on the table do you know that you can go to the bank tellers i've no because i've done it and ask for the money that you have you just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> Remember I thought, yeah, but see, I did that, y'all. Because I wanted to see what it looks like. How do they stack them? That's my, you telling me, ma'am, that if I want to, I got this bag right here. I just want to ask you a question. I can get all these hundreds and twenties and fifties and stuff you got here, put it in this bag, and I can walk out of here. You ain't going to go to cops. No, it's your money, Mr. Edwards. It's your money. Okay, put it back. I don't want to see it no more. <laughs> You know why I'm teaching you this stuff? This is not taught in any
came level of school. I have a business degree. This is not where I learned this. I learned this from grandma, my big grandma. She used to put money in there and for mattress. Dare one of us to touch it. But the old school way didn't have a lot of identity theft. Back in the day, they don't have identity theft, y'all. They have it like that. Hard to rob somebody when you can't get an account. And if you get an account, there's nothing there. See? That's old school teaching. We'll trade craft for craft. Right? Old school teaching. Everybody could hear it. But how many people actually do it? I tell you guys, work together. Work smart, not hard. Right? Work smart, not hard. Money's, money is not even living. It doesn't even breathe air. It does not breathe. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't even know it went from one hand to the other hand. It doesn't know. And it doesn't care. It is not loyal to you. The dollar is not loyal to you. If I pull the dollar out and not hand it to him and say, go ahead, take it around the bend. That dollar was, no, no, give me back the Cherokee. Give me back the one. Daddy, come get me. It won't wrinkle up and disintegrate in one of your hands. Unless you got some problems that we need to get checked out. <laughs> then it might. Right? It doesn't know color. It doesn't know religion. It doesn't know age. It knows nothing. Man made it. Man made it. Man gave it its value. Man gave money its value. So look what I wrote on the board today. Visualize being successful. Then work until you become successful. See, there's a difference. Because what I say at the bottom, you can be whatever you see. It's not just a rhyme, y'all. It's not just hip hop. It's not just hip hop. This is real. If you can't see it, then you can't believe it. And if you can't believe it, then you can't achieve it. Simple and plain.